Mr. Beamer. We're very grateful for SBVC's foundation's dedication to the success of our students. I would now like to introduce you to our student speaker. Born and raised in Diamond Bar, Chidi Wu Deng, excuse me, Wu Deng Wu, came to San Bernardino Valley College in 2016 to join one of the best community college basketball teams in the state. Not only has Chidi dominated on the basketball court, he's also graduating with an associate's degree in business administration. In the future, Chidi plans to start his own basketball-related brand. Let's give it up and welcome Mr. Chidi Udengwu. Thank you, Ms. Diana. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I see so many beautiful faces this morning. Look, I see my mom and dad sitting right there with the rest of my family. Hey, Mom, Dad, isn't it kind of just crazy that out of all your kids, I'm the one that used to get in trouble the most, and now I'm up here talking to you guys? Isn't that crazy? Well, my name is Chidi Udangu, and I am more than honored to be standing here before everyone today. Since you, most of you guys probably didn't get that, yes, my real government name is Chidi Udangu. Real government name. On behalf of the graduating class of 2018, I would like to welcome all families, friends, faculty, and alumni to our commencement ceremony. Now, before I start, there's two things you guys should know. First, they told me to make this speech about six minutes, but I decided to add an extra minute for every parking ticket I ever got here, so, you know, we might, we might be here a while. <laughs> so, second, this speech sounded great in my head, but like many papers I've written here, I wrote it the night before. I mean, not, not this one, but you know what I mean. Not this one. You know, if you would have told me when I was 18, or 18 years old that a couple years later, I will be speaking in front of everyone here at graduation, man, I would have laughed right in your face. Then again, if you really know me, you know I love to talk. So this is about to get good. I would like to start off with a story that, that at the time I had not known would change my life forever. Growing up, always being the youngest in my grade, I mean, it was kind of tough. I was never really the smartest, the strongest, and back then, not even the tallest. Even with all those flaws, I continued to push myself to follow my main passion, which was playing basketball. With all the obstacles and struggles that I faced, I knew that God had a master plan for me. On this long journey, I had many people looking out for me. Those people included my family, my friends, and of course, my coaches. Shout out to Coach Brewer and Coach Cooper over there, by the way. Uh, none of this would have been po possible without you guys, so you know, I just can't thank you guys enough. Um, without them, we wouldn't have made it to this point in our lives. So yeah, I would just like to give a special thank you to all the people who never gave up on me, and you guys should too. Matter of fact, can we all just take a, matter of fact, can we just, all the graduates, can we stand up and can we turn around? Yeah, everybody stand up. Can we turn around and just thank our parents? Can we, cl can we, can we clap it up for our parents real quick? Because without them, we wouldn't be here. Thank you. Parents, thank you so much. Thank you so much, parents. None of this is possible without you guys. None of this, none of it. <laughs> to all my fellow graduates, today marks a very important day. This day does not mark an end, but rather a new beginning. A new beginning of us being college graduates. We have come this far after a tour, I mean, however many years it took, but one thing, I, one thing I can for sure say is we made it. We are now college graduates. From this day forward, many of you may know where you're headed next. You know,
know, whether it's continuing your education, a full-time job, an internship, or maybe just traveling the world, who knows? But whatever route you choose to take, I'm here this morning to tell you that you can do it. It's possible, you can do it. See, the thing about college is that it's a journey in which you learn who you really are. Like most things in life, there are good times and there are bad times. But those are the experiences that allow us to develop the strength, the patience, and of course the motivation to prosper forward. I am very proud to have attended San Bernardino Valley College. This college is way more than just a name. Not just to me, but to all of us here. To all of us. Here we've developed great friendships and great relationships. We've learned valuable lessons, both inside and outside the classroom. Lessons like not to eat in the cafeteria unless you just won the lottery. Even, even more valuable lessons like coming here every morning at 5 a.m. just to get a parking spot. The wonder, all the wonderful faculty here and the positive interactions that welcome us on campus every day are what keep all of us moving. You all, including faculty, have helped me grow tremendously in all aspects of my life. Here at SBVC, this place is one that I can call my home. One that we will always be able to call our home. I can truly say that I've become a more well-rounded individual who values and respects others and their differences. You know, when I was young, a wise man once told me, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Each and every day as students and adults, we push ourselves to work hard and accomplish our goals. Oh, by the way, all the graduates, us being here this morning wearing these caps and gowns proves we've, we've accomplished those goals. Yes, indeed, we must reach our goals to be successful, but most important of all, I really just wanna tell all you guys listening to enjoy life. Find your passions, be yourself, man, and of course, follow your dreams. Our time has now come where it's us who need to get out and help the community. It's us who need to go out and vote. It's us who need to help other people. It's us who need to let our voices be heard. We just can't sit around anymore and let others do the talking for us. It's our time to take the lead and do it. We all know that there are daily problems in our society, some that are seen and even more that go unseen. And why not one of us, one of us wearing this cap and gown be the ones to change it? As we witness this short journey come to an end this morning, another door awaits us with many opportunities, chances, and challenges. There comes a time where we will put to use all the knowledge and wisdom we've gained, and that time is now. As you leave the premises this morning, hold the light of the future in your hands and show the world your individuality with gratitude. Hold on to your character. It will be the reflection for tomorrow on how you have developed a strong establishment in your family, friends, community, and even yourself. Even though you will all surely be missed, sadly, this journey has to come to an end. But I hope all of us here today can take this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything is possible when we really put our minds to it. As we continue with our lives, we should take on every obstacle with confidence, knowing that we've achieved great things and we are equipped with the necessary tools to take on our future. Because doing what we did for those diplomas was not easy.
Hey, you guys see this stage right here, right? Y'all see the stage? In just a few more minutes, all you guys are gonna be walking across it, getting the diploma. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. So that being said, to all of you guys who have joined us to celebrate this accomplishment, thank you so much. We did it. We are now San Bernardino Valley College graduates. Thank you, Chidi. It's always inspiring to see our graduates striving for success in all that they do. We're very proud of the many achievements of our 2018 graduating class. I would now like to introduce